Hello guys. It looks like Remix Team not only likes music, but also has a great sense of humor. Production ready SQLite database. Well, I don't know about that. Let's go ahead and swap that SQLite database for MySQL. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me quickly explain. Remix is a full stack web framework that lets you focus on the user interface and work back through web standards to deliver a fast, slick and resilient user interface. Remix got started by React Router team and then got picked up by Shopify. Looks like Shopify is pretty invested in Remix, so if you want to be a Shopify developer, you definitely need to learn Remix. However, if you don't care much about Shopify development, it is still a good idea to look into Remix framework. I think it has a few great features, such as enhanced developer experience, optimized performance, data loading strategies, built-in routing, and TypeScript support. Remix also has this cool idea of nested routes that behave sort of independently and can be uh, seen as an alternative to micro frontends. To make developers' life easier, Remix team created stacks, uh, pre-configured uh, starter templates. They come pre-configured with a database, automatic deployment pipelines, authentication, testing, linting, formatting, and TypeScript. There are three official stacks, Blues, Indie, and Grunge. We're going to take a look at Indie stack. It has production-ready SQLite database that I was talking about earlier. The only time I used SQLite in memory database was to run tests in Laravel application, however, it didn't scale well. When the application started growing, the types of SQLite test database and MySQL application database started to mismatch, and keeping both migration sets in sync was uh, too much of work. It was much easier to just use repository pattern and mock database responses. Well, enough talk, let's get started. So in your terminal, run the command npx create remix at latest and template will be remix run in the stack. And it's gonna ask us a couple of questions here. We'll just call it remix my SQL. And then for the rest, we will just answer yes, because all of those are recommended. And now we'll just wait till uh, Remix will install. Looks like Remix is done installing, so let's go ahead and open project in VS Code. We have Remix MySQL project open in the VS Code, so first let's go to the .env file, and then we're going to put the database URL as the following. MySQL uh, root secret, uh, it's running on local host, my port is 33061, yours could be different, maybe 33060 or 33060, and I already created Remix underscore Indie database. Remix uses Prisma ORM, so it needs database URL string for a connection. Now let's go to Prisma folder, and let's go ahead and delete migrations folder, and we can also delete data.db, this is SQLite uh, DB file. Let's delete that as well. Now let's go to schema.prisma file and instead of SQLite, let's put MySQL. Let's go ahead and save changes and open terminal. And in the terminal, let's run npx prisma migrate that. We're going to rerun the migrations again because migrations for SQLite is a little different than for MySQL. So let's enter a name for the new migration. We can call it initial migration. Let's hit enter and it's going to apply migrations. And as you can see, migrations are succeeded. Now let's go ahead and run the application by typing npm run dev. And after build is completed, we have a message that the server is running on a, a local host 3000. So let's go ahead and click on it. Let's go ahead and test Indie Stack application. Let's click sign up. Alex at alex.com will be the email and a password. We can just put password, not the most secure that it will do it. Let's hit create account. And account is being successfully created. 
So now we can go and click on View Notes and we can create a new note. We'll title Hello, Hello Note in the body and we can click Create or Save. All right, so now let's go ahead and switch into the database and see if we have records in MySQL database. Right here we're in uh, Table Plus. Let's hit Refresh and we can see that we have Prisma migration stable and we have a node, password and a user. If we click on the user table, you can see the records in that table and we can click on the nodes. You can see that the node that I just created is here. We have titled hello and body hello node. Remix team did a great job configuring the stack and it was easy to switch from SQLite to MySQL. IndieStack uses Prisma ORM. However, if you prefer SQLize instead, check out our video on how to use SQLize with a TypeScript in Node.js project. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.